sales and marketing, and also a co-founder of ePay. So ePay is one of the uh, leading service pro e payment service providers in China. Uh, we started the company about five years ago, uh, and right now we work with all the commercial banks uh, in China. And, and, and from that, we also connect to a lot of the uh, uh, online merchants as well as a lot of merchants in the traditional businesses. The biggest ticket sort of items that are being sold online. What what what's the maximum number? Do you think it's, it's an online transaction? Is our transaction size actually varies a lot because we, we serve a lot of the online gaming operators, uh, which are more or less like micro gaming. The 50 quai, 100 quai. Exactly, the way in small, small but, well, micro but we also work with a lot of airlines, mm -hmm. right, which uh, the average transaction size of my Several is thousand. a couple hundred or even mm -hmm. over a thousand dollars, mm -hmm. a thousand RMB. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, online games. We saw that very much in Korea, the birth of online games, and uh, where, during the recession of ten years ago, actually. W where do you see is the mecca for e-payment in the world? Do you look to Korea as the, as the future, or is, how is China going to develop in, in, in its own way? Uh, I, I think in China the market is uh, highly fragmented, right? So it's not going to be it's not going to be like in Korea or in Japan, which they have a relatively uniform market. The truth is that this market is actually broken broken down into a lot of smaller pockets, mm -hmm. so it's very difficult to scale. It's, uh, it's very difficult to be a, a winner-takes-all situation. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.